Hello and welcome everybody to this lecture of our course Master Python for Data Analysis. For loop looping through an interval executes a block of code repeatedly until uh, the condition in the for statement is no longer valid. An interval in Python refers to anything that can be looped over, such as a string, list, or tuple. The syntax for looping through an interval is as follows. For i in interval, print i. Example, colors equal red, yellow, green, blue, black. For color in colors, print color. First, we declare uh, the list for colors and give the members red, yellow, green, bl blue, black. Next, the statement for color in colors. So the program loops through the colors list and assigns each member in the list to the variable color. The first time the program runs through the loop, it assigns red to variable color. The statement print colors, then parentheses the value red. The second time the program loops through for statement. It assigns the value yellow to colors and branches the value yellow. The program continues looping through the list until the end of the list is reached. If you run the program, you will get red, yellow, green, blue, black. The index of the members in the list can be displayed by the use of enumerate function. For index color in enumerate colors, column, Print index and the color 0 red, 1 yellow, 2 green, 3 blue, 4 black. Looping through a sequence of numbers, example, loop through a string data, msg equal high. For i in msg, print i, h i, you will get h and i. To loop through a sequence of numbers, the built-in range function comes in handy. The range function generates a list of numbers and has the syntax range start in step. If start is not given, the numbers generated will start from zero. Not a useful tip for to remember here is that in Python and most programming language, unless otherwise stated, we always start from zero. Range function. If start is not given, the number generated that start from zero. If step is not given, a list of consecutive numbers will generate it. Example step equal one. The end value must be provided. However, one weird thing about the range function is that the given a end value is never part of the generated list. For instance, range 5 will generate the list 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For i in range 3 and 10, column print i will generate 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Range 4, 9, 2 will generate 4, 6, 8. The range function work inside a for statement example for i in range 3 print i 0 1 2 for index in range 3 print index 0 1 2 break using break in for loop sometimes we want to stop the loop when meet specific certain conditions so we use the break example a equal 0 for index in range 10 a plus 2 print i equal and i a equal and a if a equal 4 break i 0 a 2 i 1 a 4 without the break the coder will loop from i 0 to i 10 because we use the function range 10 however with the break Keyword, the program ends prematurely at i2. This is because when i equal to a reaches the value of 6 and the break keyword causes the loop to end. We use continue to skip specific step 
in the iteration process. Example, for num in range 3, if num equal 1, continue. Print current number and number value. Result, current number equal 0, current number equal 2. Then the loop will stop. We will get red, yellow, green, blue, black for index and color and enumerate colors, print index and color. We will get zero red, one yellow, two green, three blue, four black. Then we will try message or msg equal high between two double quotes for i in msg column, print i. We will get h and i. For i in range 5, print i, we will get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For i in range 3 and, and 8, print i, we will get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For i in range 4 and 10 and 2, print i, we will get 4, 6, 8. A equals 0 for I in range 10. A plus 2 print I and I value A and A value. If A equal 4 break, we will get I equal 0, A equal 2, I equal 1, A equal 4. Then the loop will stop. For I in range 10, print I and I value. We will get i from i0 to i equal 9. For num in range 3, column if num equal 1 column, continue, print current number and num value. Current number equal 0, current number equal 2. For num in range 3, print current number and num value. We will get current number 0, current number 1, current number 2. Thank you for watching, see you next lecture.